morning students joined in 2019 2020 have lost close to 2 years of physical instruction have found innovative ways of uh, writing your exams completing coursera i really don't know how much learning has come how many of you know of chat gpt or have heard of chat gpt raise your hands be truthful so there was a study that uh, one uh, research uh, uh, published that in the next 10 years or somewhere around that period of time around the world one and a half crore jobs will be lost because of technology because of artificial intelligence among other things and only 70 lakh new jobs are going to be added that means the net impact is 80 lakh people around the world are going to be jobless and this is a conservative estimate so why am i why am i saying this to you the technology that is coming in the world is disrupting not just your lives it is disrupting us a university it's disrupting all the faculty it is disrupting academic regulators like the aict making it very difficult for us to understand what to do but i think today uh, my message is focused towards you more than anybody else most of you have come from an environment where marks are important and you will do what is necessary to pass or to get good marks do you think that's going to help you in life i've i've been to some uh, programs where public programs where students say that i have an engineering degree why don't i have a job i'm not talking about geetham students i'm talking about everywhere else if i if i say that here i'll have a problem but uh, this is a serious question is learning more important is who you are as an individual more important or is having a degree certificate more important increasingly a uh, basic work where you need to use your memory you need to use basic physical skills are going to be no longer necessary and we will not need you to be doing that so as you go out into this world i'd like you to think about that very seriously your learning journey has not ended here professor mohan has said about 50 students are going to further education within india or abroad uh, so it's not i'm not limiting the comment of learning only to those 50 students i'm telling it to you all if you don't learn you don't evolve you don't change you may be out of a job many of you have gotten jobs today but don't be surprised 3 4 5 years from now if your employer says that you don't make the cut and uh, today as a student there's a temptation that, that uh, uh, I, i must, must do, do whatever, whatever is necessary to get good marks or to pass the exams and we just because you're all innovative the amount of energy that you spend on how to cheat in the exam if you spend on actually learning we'll have many smart students here so that uh, is some and it is this is a question all, not only to you to us all also how do we make our systems more robust we're working on them but uh, tomorrow just look at the role of artificial intelligence it does go to chat gpt ask it a question see how it's going to answer it will do 80 90% of the work very soon that you are going to be doing in your job so where does the human matter what does the human see today that artificial intelligence cannot see as well it's it's emotion how many of you have seen the robot uh, movie called i robot some of you go and watch that movie it's a futuristic movie so in the movie uh, in the flashback the hero's family or the the hero is in a particular setting where an accident happens and uh, him and a small girl are going to die they are in the water so the, the robot jumps into the water to save them so it does a calculation 
who does it have a higher chance of saving and it decided that the hero can be saved so it saved the hero but the girl died and the hero then has some surgeries has a robotic arm and everything but all his life he regrets that if i was in the place of the robot i would have saved the young girl because the young girl has many more years to live than i so robot sometimes does not see human emotion the same way that a human does it also doesn't have the same ethical dilemmas that a human being does so i think where you are going to be different from technology is your ability to bring your humanness you are not going to be uh, strong based on your ability to do math or to write a sentence those are things that technology will be able to do better than you very so already is right so i i request all of you to think about this very very seriously what's over is over you've graduated whether you're a business graduate or a science graduate or an engineering graduate what you have learned what you have not learned you know yourself but the future ahead is not going to be this kind and we want all of you to do well and you've had different experiences you've studied from home you've studied from the hostel this is a largely residential campus many of you stay on campus so you've had opportunity to interact with your friends and peers and uh, this is a special time it will not come back the way it is so cherish those moments cherish your relationships with your friends your colleagues your faculty your institution as professor mohan said as alumni being connected with us we have some distinguished guests here uh, professor sitaram is a distinguished academic who has gotten into administration and now is looking at academic regulation for the entire technical education of the country he has a key role to play as the national education policy is being implemented and uh, i am eagerly going to track how he transform the education system because we are not ready as a country to face this disruption and the regulators have to lead the way in showing uh, the country how we should work and we have two uh, doctorate awardees also uh, ms reet devaya abraham she is a sportswoman um, some of you may have heard of her thank you ma'am for accepting our invitation and 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 coming here um she's she's won a she's won a long list of uh, medals you can go and look her up on wikipedia but uh, i think what uh, i liked was your work in clean sports and your emphasis on developing sports administrators i think that's very important for uh, the country uh we are, we are seeing uh, challenges with this where everywhere i think uh, dr sitaram will also say this or may not say this but uh, it is how can we have good leadership and uh, clean governance without the influence of politics um at every level and i think the work that uh, ms reet is doing that uh, doing there or has done there uh, is great and please please keep doing it i think that the country needs it because um my alma mater stanford has more uh, olympic medals than entire india india does right so we don't have the kind of money that uh, those institutions spend but i think with good governance uh, with lesser money i think we can do more and I, and i look forward to i look forward to seeing that happen and uh, we had the privilege of having mr ricky cage on campus in vishakhapatnam very recently so i'm seeing him in very short proximity and uh, he's a passionate individual apart from he'll have his introduction so i don't have to tell much about him but um his focus on uh the environment and also on being somebody who's honest is something that i really respect uh i don't know if you're uh, going to tell the part of him being a dentist so i'm stealing that part of your story um he's a dentist by education but has never practiced in his life and uh, i liked one statement that he said he said that he regrets that he did dentistry not because it's a bad subject but because he deprived somebody else of that seat because somebody else who was wanting to become a dentist did not get that opportunity i think having that moral responsibility that uh, every program that you do do it out of your choice and then enjoy working in that space beyond because i don't know how many of you chose your degree by your choice versus the parents sitting above who decided for you um 
I don't want to ask raise of hands. I don't want to embarrass your parents. Uh, but uh, it's okay. Uh, it's over, right? Three, four years of your life, whether you've liked it or you've not, you have done it. You still have a very long life ahead of you. What you've done so far doesn't define you for the rest of your life. It is one part of you, but it's not all of you. So use this opportunity, use this platform that Gitam has provided um, to do the best that you can with your life, to evolve and stay current with the changes that are happening in the world and make yourself proud, your family proud. Some of you, some of them are here and make Geetam proud. Be connected with us because we are a very ambitious organization and we will only grow when our alumni do well and you grow. So I wish you all the best and I, I thank all the parents for being here to support your children. Thank you.